Hi, Kyle Holmberg, Pioneer Field Agronomist covering Tennessee, Alabama, and Kentucky. Coming to you from a freshly cut wheat field in Middle Tennessee. With wheat harvest well underway across much of the Tennessee Valley, we're starting to receive a lot of questions around plant populations for soybeans in a double crop system. A couple of key insights that I'll give growers is to utilize some of the same practices that we do in our full season beans in regards to soil moisture and soil conditions. We do want to make sure that we have adequate soil moisture there so we can get that bean placed in the row, give it a chance to germinate quickly and come out of the ground and grow off quickly. As we talk about planting depth, we still want to be in that one to one and a half inch range if we have soil moisture there so we can get that bean up and established fast. A couple other factors that we might not necessarily have in a single crop system that we find ourselves after wheat would be residue. Residue can be a major culprit of giving you trouble as we go across the field. If we're in a high residue situation, that could warrant increased plant populations in our double crop beans. When we're talking about populations themselves, most of our full season beans are planted in that 130 to 140,000 range. As we move into a double crop system, we want to give ourselves the best chance to avoid replants later in the season. When we're talking about residue management, we want to make sure that the planter adjustments are correct so we don't see that hair pinning of straw in the seed furrow that would cause that seed furrow to lay open and decrease our germination. When we're talking about populations themselves, most of our full season beans are going to be in that 130 to 140,000 range. As we move into double crop beans, with all these factors at play, a general recommendation from your agronomy team is going to be to increase that plant population greater than 140,000 depending on field conditions. If we're in a seven and a half inch row using a drill, most of those recommendations are going to fall in that 160,000 plus range. The key is common sense. We want to get that seed in the ground with good spacing, in soil moisture, to give it the best chance to germinate quickly and grow off. Weed pressure can be huge in our double crop beans. Pioneer is giving you options with Pioneer brand soybean products with Bolt technology, allowing us to have another layer of protection against our weed problems, also allowing us to have zero day plant back to products such as lead off when utilizing that Bolt technology. As we come out into the field, this is exactly what we want to see. These beans coming up through the residue, beginning to row up, cracking the soil surface. So these beans will have a great chance of growing off quickly with the sunlight that we have today and the adequate soil moisture. Today is June 11th. These beans have been in the ground for five days. So we'd expect them to have a trifoliate in probably just 10 days to a week. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.